Today is Wednesday, May 25th, 2016. The time is 10.02. I call the meeting of Monagay County Commission to order. Uh, let the record reflect that all three uh, commissioners are present and we have a quorum. Uh, this Memorial Day weekend is coming up. It's a special time that we take to remember those who sacrificed their ultimate uh, duty by giving their lives for their country. So keep that in mind this week and this whole weekend. Thank those that have given given everything. Everyone rise for a moment of silent meditation, pledge to the flag. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Burnett. Good morning. Good morning. I have uh, nine morning. exoneration listings today for $1,200.48. Fiduciary orders of May the 25th, 2016. Statement of services for Fiduciary Commissioners Lynn C. Crane and Cynthia Van Stafford. Vouchers, General County, $87,547.94. Cole Severance, $399.78. 911 Cash, $254. Chestnut Ridge Park, $1,500. Camp Muffley, 2002-4031, Mason-Dixon Park, 3114, Sessions Valuation Fund, 2410, Purchasing Card Vouchers, General County, $9,025.16, Home Confinement, 6926-62, Camp Muffley, 282-02, for a grand total of 110-616-97. We have budget revisions for the Planning Commission and the Office of Emergency Management. Position vacancies for boards and authorities. Uh, we have uh, still one position open on the Development Authority, one on the Mon County Historic Landmarks Commission, four positions on the Mon County Planning Commission, one position on the Cheap View PSD. Uh, we also have uh, positions open for Camp Muffley, Chestnut Ridge, and Mason Dixon Advisory uh, Boards. Okay, let's take everything with the uh, employees. Okay. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in introduction of new employees. Have you been here Captain <laughs> Ross. <Yeah. coughs> we have uh, one employee just moving from part time status. You look a lot better than the prior. Oh, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't finish that statement at all. Thank you. Captain Rose. Thank you. If this is uh, Winston Walcott. He is a was a part-time processing and transport officer. We recently had a vacancy in a full-time position, and uh, he was definitely interested in moving from part-time status to full-time. So he is uh, has been moved there by the sheriff. That was effective May 16th, and he is uh, eligible for benefits at a starting salary of 230720 per month. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you. He's, uh, uh, he, is he working late shift or something? He is. He's actually. Got people. Bounces around. Yeah. yeah. I, it seems like we've he met, was, him, we've met him before. Yeah, we have. We've he met him before. Part -time, part -time. Yes. And that's fine. Yeah. I, I just wanted to clarify that yeah. because if we don't do something and someone says, oh, well, you didn't do it for him, and then I have to explain yeah. it. It's easier for you to explain it. Yes. <laughs> Kat. Good morning. Um, I'm Kat with Chestnut Ridge Park. I have a new employee here, Andy Moorhead. Um, he will be a part of our cleaning staff for the summer during the week, and we have another cleaning staff working for the weekends, which have already been introduced. He started yesterday. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Welcome, Welcome aboard. Thank you. Rachel. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Rachel Hi. with Kent Muffley. I'm here to introduce uh, a 
request for approval 10 employees for the summer, uh, six of which would be cooks for our summer camps. Um, did you guys get this? Yes. Colored one? Yeah, I'll, that one. Okay. Colored. Um, I'll give you guys this just to sort of explain why I'm hiring six this year. Usually we only need three for the summer. Uh, we do need six this year just because I couldn't find because one schedule. single cook to cover the That's whole fine. summer. Um, so on the letter, their, their wages are listed out there. Do you have any yes. questions uh, regarding that? Uh, on the second page are the lifeguards listed. Uh, the first two, and Ms. Emma Slagle and Mr. Matthew Leroy, who is present with me today, uh, they are already certified. Uh, the second two, Mr. Jacob Shockley and Monique Rowe, they are not yet certified, but they are signed up to take a certification class, which takes place on June 12th, 18th, and 19th. Um, I would like to request their employment approval so we can they can assist with opening the pool. Continuing employment would depend upon their passing of certification. So if they pass, then they'll then take they'll, the position of lifeguard. Correct. Um, I would like them to to start early to help opening with the pool, and they can also run the cash register, which would alleviate that responsibility from for, current for one of the one of the certified until they get certified in mid June. Okay. Move we, for approval. Yeah. Second. Uh, I've got a motion to second. Any discussion? Just to clear that it's for both motions, the people and also yes. if they pass. Okay. And if they pass. Okay. Yes. i got a motion to second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Very good. I also want to congratulate you, Rachel. I mean, I know it's been very difficult to find cooks, and you went out of the way and able to come up with a plan. So I know it was difficult, and we probably put you on the spot doing that. But we want to thank you. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you. Glad to have you. If I go swimming there, you make sure you jump in and get me. No. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. If I go down for the third time. Huh? The first two times, yeah. The first two times, no. Okay. I like to have a little joviality. It's important. Uh, okay. Any Anything else before comments from the public? Anything else? Okay, I open up for comments from the public. If anyone has any comments they wish, wish to make, just please rise, state your name and address, and you have a right to speak. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hearing none, I close comments from the public. Colleen Coon, Grants. Good morning. Hi, Colleen. Good morning. Glad I didn't forget you this time. Just yes. <laughs> 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 I have two requests for reimbursements. One is for the community development blank block grant from MAYSP in the amount of one thousand seventy five dollars and sixty nine cents. And the other one is for the JJDP grant in the amount of one thousand seven hundred twenty one dollars and thirty seven cents. Move for approval so that President makes sign. Second. A motion. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. And there were a couple of requests for reimbursements that I had to sign due to time constraints for the Governor's Highway Safety Program. One was the um, alcohol transfer in the amount of $2,641.99. The DUI in the amount of $2,637.36. Department of Highways Destructed Driving in the amount of $1,732.40. And then um, no activities. Do I have a motion to confirm her signature as uh, authorized? So moved. Second. I have a motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your efforts. Okay. Well, I guess guess I got introduction of new employees out of order. It's okay. That's all right. It's we'll okay. It. Yes. Uh, is there a need for an executive session? At a later time, yes. Okay, we will we'll delay it till the end. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, correspondence Requ requisition number fifteen, Star City TIF project number one. This is the matching funds uh, that uh, you see in the chart in the back for the DOH work on the connecting trail. What's the wishes of the commission? The TIF would pay 24000 The grant 
which is a matching to a ninety-six thousand dollar grant. So for twenty-four thousand, we end up with one hundred twenty thousand. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you. Okay. Any other correspondence, Renata? No, sir. Any unfinished business? No, I do not have one. Any new business? Yes. We yes, have some sir. new business. Mm -hmm. You have some new business? Um, I would move that we close the road repair fund uh, from our budget, in other words, eliminating this line item. Second. And move it into general fund? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to clarify. Right. Uh, I got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you. I would like to close the Scotch Run Sewer Fund of a very minimal amount that we need to close. Second. I'm assuming that's a motion. Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, so moved. Okay. <laughs> a motion. Yes. Okay. And again, going into the general fund. Correct. I got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you. Just cleaning up some extra accounts and got a thank you from the tax chief. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads to, are we going to discuss it now since I'd be, be the, What's that? the budget? Oh, that, yeah, what do we got? We, since we opened the door so we could well, yeah. resolve the actually, budget. Actually, okay. it is. Um, you have a summary in yes. your yes. Uh, packet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, basically, our, we, we can, as I've always said, our, our, general, uh, our general fund's in, in good shape, uh, always has been. Our budget is uh, basically what we've been able to do with the budget, of course, today is be able to keep the levy rate the same. It's continued, to, actually, it's a continuation of our, our plan for the property reappraisals. We've got two more years of that until we'll be revenue neutral for the entire periods. So there's no change whatsoever in the levies. Uh, levy rate, uh, we've, we were able to actually put some funds back into the financial stabilization fund, which I've always been a very... Uh, adamant that we try to have that sort of fund there. We've, uh, we've also given uh, the employees of the county a 2% raise across the board. We also, in the effort to get the deputies back into, uh, uh, back into a more competitive role, we weren't able to give the full uh, amount that we'd hoped to this year, but we are giving two thousand dollars this year to each deputy. Uh, I don't know if I missed anything. Does he? If, it, if I might, put, yes, you may, sir. May well. Do you want to put on? A, should I put on a motion first? Why don't you go ahead and do yeah, the motion? Yeah, move that we approve the fiscal tentative fiscal year budget. The levy the levy estimate the levy as budget. presented. <laughs> Second. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Discuss. Okay, what I was going to ask, if Renetta would be willing, you gave us a summary, mm -hmm. not reading all the specific numbers, but like the first paragraph, the three paragraphs below, and then the paragraphs about coal seven. You, you want to just read that? Yeah, could you just read that? You don't have to read That's, the numbers. Just read. The, okay. I think so that way the public knows what's going on to clarify. Okay. Um, proposed levy rates for taxes in Mon County is uh, 12 Point zero zero for class one, twenty four point zero zero class two, and forty eight point zero zero class three and four. I need to revise that. It should say three and four. Yes. That provided uh, nineteen million two hundred and three thousand two hundred sixty four dollars in property tax receipts for general county operations. That amount, in addition to other general receipts, provided a current proposed budget amount of thirty one million five ninety five eight sixty four. <coughs> Last year, the general county fund budget was $32,727,073. Other receipts include income from the anticipated carryover balance, grants, hotel taxes, property transfer taxes, interest, reimbursements, and other miscellaneous receipts. 
federal grants estimated to be 500,000, state grants in the amount of 300,000, and other grants in the amount of 5,000 passed through the annual budget on a reimbursement basis. The proposed general county fund budget includes funding for the operation and maintenance of county park facilities, Chestnut Ridge Park, Camp Muffley, and Mason Dixon Historical Park. Grant funds are being provided from the general revenue for health and safety items, park and recreational programs, arts and cultural interests, seniors, and other items. Positions vacant for one year or more were eliminated from the budget. An across-the-board increase of 2% for all full-time and part-time employees paid from general fund is included in the proposal. For budget year 1516, the sheriff requested that the commission consider an increase to upgrade salaries and civil service law enforcement officers, for which 4,000 was granted. An additional amount of 2,000 per officer is being proposed for fiscal year 2016-17. Funds from this budget will not be available until July 1, 2016. Due to the further loss in coal severance taxes, agencies were again transferred to the county, general county fund. Mm -hmm. Some agencies were eliminated from the budget entirely. The Commission has indicated that this will be the final year that they will make this adjustment. In conclusion, the levy estimate being approved today is based on levy rates of 12, 24, and 48, with a total of 31,595,864 being anticipated for expenditure. It is important to note that the West Virginia State Auditor's Office will issue its approval before the official levy rate can be set. Whole severance fund budget also being approved today has, an antici has anticipated funds in the amount of 160000 Approximately 181613 in funding was moved from the coal severance fund to general fund. Agencies that petitioned the commission for an excess levy and were approved by the voters of Montague County will provide relief to the general county and coal severance funds in the amount of 1264000 Total combined budget of both funds, 31755864 Thank you. Um, before I have a couple questions or comments, yes, uh, I wanted to make it very clear to the public that uh, I want to thank my two colleagues. It was not easy. The three of us had very strong views on what we wanted to do and move forward. And I really think the cooperation of that's something that I wish was happening in Charleston right now that I wish we could pass on down there was the number one priority was to come up with programs that was best for the community and funded in a way that uh, everyone would try and understand you know, the direction we went. Um, I first want to clear that if you look, we lowered the budget $1.2 million. So it isn't that you know we just gave away uh, money. We, we lowered uh, money. We uh, decided on, unfortunately, had to reduce the number of uh, agencies that we were doing coal severance and on a one-year basis as you mentioned I want to clear it. on a one-year basis I want it very clear we moved a hundred and it's eighty thousand or hundred eighty one thousand into the general budget for one year because we, we we felt that it wasn't right you know to immediately cut all the funds out of these outside agencies that it's, it's real important the quality of life with that being said, I think the three of us realized it could not have been done without the community voting for the levies. By their support, we then came back and tried to give them funds which they wanted. So again, I'm real pleased uh, that you know we were able to come to a compromise. I said I really, I mean, you, even though you quote have one Republican and two Democrats, I think what you had here was three county commissioners realizing that we had to move forward and do what's in the best interests of this community and I think we did it and I wanted to thank you too publicly. That's what I want to say. Thank you. Commissioner Alvin? I'm very happy. I think the spirit of cooperation, collaboration that has been exhibited led to something that I think will be a benefit to the community and I'm very happy with to present this. Mm -hmm. I, I think I pretty much stated this is a good solid budget and sometimes you have to make compromises and I do agree that uh, it is not it is not uh, fair to just close close doors so if we can make a transition then give people time and these outside groups that they, they can find other funding means it's better than just whacking them off at the knees so that they have to close their doors because so many people in the community rely on them so that was uh, 
there's a lot of funds that uh, we were able to uh, draw upon, uh, such as the coal reallocation fund mm -hmm. that has not been tapped into. We we tapped into it to uh, make it possible to support some of these outside agencies. The general taxpayer uh, on real property has uh, has been protected, and it continues mm -hmm. to be. Uh, even with the passage of the levy, we're still at the lowest of all the 55, or, or 53rd. Near, we're 53rd now, uh, 53rd uh, lowest of all the 55 counties. Mm -hmm. So the people that are paying uh, uh, their taxes, they need to realize in terms of the Montague County Commission budget uh, that they are paying substantially lower than the uh, than 50. Uh, 50, I guess 52 other counties, and uh, the other the other ones within a couple dollars. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, so I, I'm I'm very proud of the budget, and I'm very proud of my colleagues. Uh, the uh, we went through uh, <laughs> uh, times that people love to sit back and Monday morning quarterback and <laughs> and beat on us and. Uh, I think all of us kept our heads up, and we all worked together, and we got the job done. So mm -hmm. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of that, and I'm very proud of our staff. Uh, Renetta was instrumental in in putting up with. Uh, <laughs> oh, will you people make up your mind? <laughs> yes. And, that was and, a nice uh, way. <laughs> that was a nice way she did it. I, she did it much nicer than that, even. Uh, but yeah, uh, and of course the rest of the staff, and of course uh, the help of the departments. Yes. I want to I want to praise the, uh, the officials. They understood the situation. Uh, all the county officials understood the situation. Worked to to hold uh, hold on to uh, uh, as much carryover as possible. They they worked hard. Uh, when the budget was sent back, they uh, to ask for a little more help. They dug right in there, and every one of them, mm -hmm. to, to the letter, helped to uh, find additional funds to make this fund possible. We're probably the only uh, only county that uh, went down in, in total uh, mm -hmm. expenditures, and, that much. <laughs> uh, and by quite a quite a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, I'm very proud of our budget. Uh, I have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. That was any any other new business? Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Um, we forgot to put it on the uh, meeting last week, but I just wanted to uh, ask if we could. Uh, have authorization to have global science and technology complete a site survey of the existing IT infrastructure. I'll second that. And again, you want to explain? Go ahead. Oh, basically, Go ahead. Go ahead. basically what we had done is, unfortunately in this today's world, we would need to make sure we have to protect ourselves. Um, and there have been situations where there have been, what would you call it? Not breaking. Uh, hostage. Yeah. <laughs> Situations Hostage. that we wanted to make sure we knew what we had in protection right. and how we wanted to secure all the offices. So this would be uh, Sca scammers. An would, scammers could yes. see, seize the data, seize people's personnel, personal data. You can imagine the type of information that's available in the in the computers of the county that needs to be protected. So that's why we're trying to do this and get a clarification before we move on. Do you want to go ahead and throw in a requesting her to? Uh, well, write a letter to. I mean, yeah. Okay. Just fine. go ahead and bundle yeah. that. Also, we were we're going to request with that that uh, Renetta would send out a letter to all the office uh, offices notifying that the GST will be visiting each office, so they understand what is going on. So we send the letter yeah. and once we approve this. We're, ju we're just doing. A, we're asking them to do a survey and analysis. Of yeah, and they're going to review whether it. we have problem areas or not have problem yes. areas. Yes, and we've already found a couple. Okay. I will second that. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Uh, any more new business? Hearing none, reports from elected official, uh, our clerk, County uh, Kerry Blaney. I, I'm, I'm so, oh, we forgot to certify oh, the election. Yeah. No, we didn't. Okay. Let's see.
See, that's why you're important to be here. You keep us in line. <laughs> Is, do you have a... Yeah. I will so move to certify the election and have the president sign the document. <laughs> Everybody needs to sign it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amended so all three of us signed it. Okay. I will right, we'll second the motion. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> motion passed. Thank you. You have uh, you have anything? Thank you. You have anything else, Carrie? No, sir. Thank you, Mayor. No. You have anything, Captain Rawson? You have anything for the sheriff's department? No, sir. How about you, Kelly? Anything from the tax department? I do, but on behalf of the sheriff, I just wanted to let you know that uh, he and the chief are in uh, Bridgeport today, receiving an award from the National Guard um, in recognition wow. as an employer. Um, but so, that was really great. I, yeah, when they, I saw that, that is real, really an honor. They were nominated by one of the, the deputies, and so they are... To support they our see. veterans. Exactly. It's a good, good week to get, get an award for that. And uh, I have spoken with the auditor's office about the levies, and at some point, uh, if we could be put on the work session. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'd like to request, um, if I could, that someone from the county clerk's... Yes. From bookkeeping, so that we make sure that we are do the levies, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're going to we're going to be scheduling the agencies in as well. I've talked with all of them. That would yeah. And yeah. So that so they understand. Once we decide. Exactly. We right. We have to right. clarify. Well, yeah, we, we need to do it. We need to do it next week because this all needs to be done before first of June. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Bobby, Renetta, anything? Uh, reports from County Commissioners, Tom. Yeah, uh, actually some very positive reports. Um, tomorrow at 4 o'clock there is going to be a dedication at East Oak Grove Cemetery by Tanner White who did his uh, Eagle Scout project where he has a flagpole, cleaned up the whole area, and also most people don't realize that there's probably more veterans buried in that site at East Oak Grove Cemetery than in Wilson, mm -hmm. the county. So. Uh, I'm real excited to be a part of that, and I would just want to open that up if anyone wants to. It won't. It'll be a short 10-minute ceremony, but I, I'm real pleased with that. The second thing is, I don't know if you knew, but uh, during that snowstorm we had back in uh, February, February, I wrote a letter to the uh, <clears throat> District 12 uh, Department of Transportation in Pennsylvania on behalf of the three of us to thank them because they came and actually went all the way down to the interstate and went to the Star City exit and turned around. So they, they did several miles. And the governor was so pleased that he put it in his announcement. So, mm -hmm. this is 12. Yeah, this is, and well, no, put it for the entire state, the mm -hmm. DOT. Right. But they were very, and it just reads, District 12 lends a neighborly hand. And you never know when, if you do something positive like that, you know, we're able to work. So I, I wanted to know, when you all know that that went really well. Sure um, we are still also selling tickets for the June 18th program that's going very well for the uh, Veterans Appreciation Day and showing uh, ageless friends. And I believe that was it. Commissioner okay. Hoffman. Okay. Uh, very shortly, uh, we do have a wonderful holiday coming up. I hope that everybody does remember the spirit of what this holiday is. It's not just simply to grill out, but remember those who serve. Uh, Eldon and I did attend the MPO meeting uh, last Thursday together. I'll let him expound upon anything else, and that's really all I have. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we had the Metropolitan Planning Organization. There's various issues that we're working on. Uh, I think as we, as we do the studies, I think what, what's of significant interest from the MPO uh, is to understand the role of 
the planning organization. Basically, it works for the DOH. Uh, doesn't work for the DOH. That's, that's wording it incorrectly. It works for the community uh, on DOH planned roads because of the Department of Highways. Uh, if you're of a certain population level, the Department of Highways cannot receive federal funds without community input and community planning. So that's the whole purpose of the MPO. Uh, I'm, I'm excited uh, with uh, the movement of where we're going and where we need to go. Our, our uh, metropolitan organization under the 2000 census how it has now included uh, all of Preston County and all of Montague County as a single metropolitan area. That's, that's very exciting uh, in the fact that we've also just passed the legislature just passed two critical bills for counties to work together. And as I've always said, uh, the roadways and the infrastructure needs and the planning needs don't stop at the county border. They go across the county border. They go from one activity center to another, be it, be it resident, uh, church, commercial, recreation government, whatever it might be, that's that's the critical uh, aspect of it. So as we look forward to the future, uh, we need to uh, realize that our growth is going to continue, our success is going to continue if we plan for it, if we work together, if we recognize even like law enforcement needs. Uh, Every, everything requires a certain level of infrastructure, and I basically include people in that infrastructure. We have, have to have educated, highly qualified people. I want to pass on to, the other thing I want to do is pass on to uh, the Sheriff's Office. Uh, my thanks and appreciation for the efforts that uh, the first responders give to our community every day. It's so significant, and uh, we'll we'll keep keep in mind your efforts and your sacrifice, and we'll see how next budget next year's budget comes out. And we thank you for the consideration. Thank you. Uh, okay, we had an executive session planned. Do you have one more? I think we're not yet. We've got a letter from Clear Mountain Bank requesting the release of um, a security, and they're going to replace it with another one. It's for $1 million. The, the, um, the original is uh, number 3133EA4K1 being replaced with 3133EF6S1 in the amount of $1 million with SunTrust Bank. Just need your this approval. This is approval. It's regularly done. Yeah. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you. Anything further? Okay. Move to go on executive session pursuant to 6 Oh, dash. wait a second. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm excuse sorry. me. Quickly oh, go ahead. Say, speaking of awards, um, Mike Ellis of West TV was presented a Democracy in Action Award on Saturday by oh. the League of Women Voters, Morgantown, Montgomery. <laughs> Can you step out in front of the camera, please? You need to turn. You need to do a selfie right now. Yes. <laughs> Mike, we really, we, we really appreciate your efforts. I, I, I appreciate Kelly that you brought that up Thank because uh, it, it really makes a difference. Oh. You, you, you know, pe people could almost any place else. People could say, "Well, we don't know what's going on." Yeah. Well, they know everything's going on right here. Well, even even my sad jokes that don't work and fall flat. Uh, I'll move to go on the executive session for personnel 6-9A-4-2-B. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. We'll take what? a we'll yeah. take a five, ten minute recess and then we'll go into the executive you, session. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. A move to come out of the executive session. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Move to adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Pass. Okay. We're adjourned. Thank you.